Good morning, everybody. This is Pastor Rick Broadman Baptist Church. And this is the Broadman Word for Wednesday, August 16th, 2023. And today I want to talk to you about something from 2 Corinthians, kind of continuing uh, my theme about uh, making sense of what's happening in, in Maui with all these wildfires. But now sort of turning to more of a um, practical application of, of God and who we are and um, how we can get through this. Um, in 2 Corinthians um, 1, and starting in verse 3, uh, the Apostle Paul writes some uh, pretty profound statements. So I'll just go ahead and read the scripture to you now. It says, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. For just as we share abundantly in the sufferings of Christ, so also our comfort abounds through Christ. If we are distressed, it is for your comfort and salvation. If we are comforted, it is for your comfort, which produces in you patient endurance of the same sufferings we suffer. And our hope for you is firm because we know that just as you share in our sufferings, so also you share in our comfort. So you see, uh, we tend to compartmentalize things um, in American culture and it also uh, tends to usually be about us or, or the individual. And so thinking about um, this tragedy that's going on in Hawaii with these fires, uh, the same thing is going on. You know, people are tending to individualize it. Instead of thinking about it in Christian terms um, as to what we can do, uh, well, we can be uh, comfort. The Apostle Paul says that um, the God is the God of all comfort in that if we are going through something, then there's others uh, in the family of God that are supposed to come along and be comfort to us um, because they themselves have gone through sufferings and received comfort. So now they can provide comfort because they had those sufferings. So some of us now, because we have had sufferings of various kinds and received comfort from the Lord and gotten through those times, we now have the capability to provide comfort to others. Paul clearly says, if we're distressed, it's for your comfort and salvation. So we should be distressed um, but not just distressed about this fire and this tragedy. We should be distressed uh, so that we can come from a place of comfort uh, for these people who are going through this tragedy. And we also know that our comfort uh, abounds through Jesus Christ so that the comfort for these folks in this wildfire zone can also come from Jesus Christ. And um, these comfort that we can produce um, also helps with patience and endurance. So everything is there that is necessary um, to lift up and be there for these residents of Lahaina, Maui and the affected communities around it to be comforted and to uh, be a comfort to those people. Uh, and it's all through our orientation of coming from Jesus Christ, who gives us comfort in times of stress or distress. So we then need to take that on as the representatives of Christ, the ambassadors of the gospel. And we need to... Uh, through our uh, Christian reference, you know, point of reference, be points of comfort, be people of comfort, be a source of comfort 
for the people who are going through this tragedy. And the way we do that is to let them know that God is there with them and God will be there to provide them comfort, even if it's through us or through his involvement directly, they're going to be cared for because that's what we're supposed to do. So as we think about the, all of these events and the politicians start pointing fingers at each other, who should have done what and when and all the nonsense and melee that is bound to happen because the media needs to um, have extra time with this so they can milk it for all the ratings and likes that they can. So they're, they're unable to leave it alone and just let these people start recovering. Uh, but all of that is going to happen. You know it is. Uh, we can be sort of a, a knife that cuts through all of that. We can be spiritual surgeons that are able to remove the sting of all of that and the noise of all of it that distracts from the true problem that is there are people in need of uh, sustenance and comfort and we can just simply be that sustenance and comfort and let people see God in and through us instead of the noise and distraction of the world. We can be separate, holy. We can help them separate, thus be holy. And we can provide the comfort that the Apostle Paul uh, so clearly says we're able to do from Jesus Christ. So listen, brothers and sisters, don't be part of the noise. Be part of the comfort. I love you. I hope you have a marvelous day in the Lord. I'll talk to you next time.